Mi gente! I woke up today in the best mood. I haven't felt, let me tell y'all something. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Like most mornings, my mornings go like this. I'm telling you, I wake up with no drive. Like there's just no spark. It's been a long time since I woke up with excitement. And the fact that I've been dropping videos more often, I'm like, tu sabe que? Tu sabe que? A little cream, no sugar. That's how you drink it. Okay, a little bit more cream, a little bit more cream. Much better. So good, you got to that like button, okay? Racata that like button, okay? Let's go to the office. All right, look, for today's segment, we're gonna continue on with showing old behind videos. I'm talking about this client came in and he asked to cut his hair completely off. I'm like, whoa, I'm ready. Well, am I really ready? Hold up. Around this time, guys, I need you to understand. You know like how they talk about how all the shots that Michael Jordan missed before the ones he made? This was that period for me. And this was one of the videos where I missed the shot. <laughs> I missed the shot so bad. I told myself I was not going to show this video either. I was just like, man, this fade is unacceptable. He liked it because you know how it is with clients. They don't see what we see. Now, real quick, I'm gonna explain something because I know I don't, I don't only have barbers that watch this channel. Look guys, barbers, we have this, we see things. I see dead people all the time. I mean, we see what you guys don't see, it's like another dimension. You might not see it. Well, you're gonna definitely see it. <laughs> Everybody's gonna see it. <laughs> ah, okay. Ugh. I really don't wanna show this video. The only epic part is cutting the hair off. That's about it. J hits finna drop the f face. Oh, let me see what I'm doing. So I'm trying to section this hair and get it ready. Oh my God, this is so cringe worthy. Put the hair up, Fonz. That's it, bro. Just put the hair up. I think at one point I even asked, you got a ponytail? Yeah, we were good. You don't got a ponytail? No, I saw something Me, the barber, that's supposed to be prepared. I'm asking my client, yo, hey, hey dog, you got a ponytail that I can borrow? Cause, uh, I need help. <laughs> Oh, dude, Fonz, can you hurry up? Can you hurry up? Not yet? Oh my God. Oh my God. Once again, guys, this is the early stages of me figuring out how to record my haircuts. Me feeling super insecure, but trying to get over my insecurities and just push through it because this is not easy when you go through that mental warfare. Like it's, it's, ah, uh, you're like, ah, oh, I can do it, but I can't. I don't want to show people my mistakes, AKA, can't even put a freaking ponytail up. It probably took me 10 minutes just to get this damn ponytail up. I'm just trying to put the hair up, look at the camera. Put the hair up, look at the camera. Put the hair up, look at the camera. Bro, what am I doing? And look at my client, my client's like, oh my God, yo, yo. This ponytail is still not up. This ponytail is really still not up. At this point, I just said, to hell with it. I'm holding on to this hair. <laughs> Bro, finally, we did it. We did it, y'all. We did it. Finally cut the hair off. There you go, Fonz. There you go, Fonz. Look at my client. My client's like, man, should I have cut my hair off by this man? Did I make the right decision? I don't know, bro. I don't even know if you made the right decision. But you did it. It's too late. We're cutting off the hair. Oh my God, Fonz, cut the hair. Look, I'll be, I didn't even cut the hair all the way. I didn't even cut the hair all the way. It's just halfway there. Just halfway done. Just right there. Just waiting for me to cut it off. But Fonz is overthinking everything. Fonz, just cut the hair.
Okay, boys and girls, after a brief commercial break, I was I was looking through the files to find when I actually cut his hair with shears because because I was wearing a GoPro. I know it. I know I recorded it. Within the week of me doing this, I showed Devonda. I showed... <laughs> Oh, I showed Devonda me cutting his hair with the shears. This is a quick example of how I did it. Not the, not the same hair texture, but just, just work with me, guys. Look, I literally am just, I'm just grabbing, going, I'm releasing, and I'm just grabbing another section. I'm not even redirecting it. I'm just chopping, drop. Pick up another piece of hair. Chopping, drop. Bro, it was bad. It was bad. But once again, this is a long time ago, guys. I have grown, I have grown. Guys, if you record yourself, if you take pictures of yourself, don't delete it, don't be embarrassed, keep it, because later on, you will notice your growth. Super crucial, super important. Let's continue. So right here with my client, he likes to always go for a shadow fade, but the highest he wants it is the number one detachable blade on top. Now, around the parietal ridge, the parietal ridge, hold up. I wanna get everything correctly. Yes, the parietal ridge. It says it right there. Y'all see it? Hold up, no, that, 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 this one, this one, this one. Parietal ridge. So around the parietal ridge, I am, that is the biggest like no-no of this whole video. Just horrible, it looks horrible towards the end. But um, he normally likes like a number one, a number one detachable blade all the way to the parietal ridge and then everything else is like shadow. That's usually what he goes for. But right here, we're going for a blade all the way open and we're just like fading up to, Lord knows what I chose. I think I chose like the highs is like number two. I regret, <laughs> I regret it, but that's what we're going with. And we're just, we're just setting that first panel up, okay? And we're just moving from there, okay? We're, let's, just, let's keep moving, let's keep moving all the way up, blade all the way open, setting that panel up. And, uh, and, and then just closing our eyes and hope that everything turns out well when we know damn well it's not gonna turn out that well. It's not, it's not that type of video. Okay, so moving on with his haircut. Right now, we are working again around the parietal ridge and this where I this is where I struggle with the cut because the hair was so curly around that area and it was like if you kept it if you went longer than the number one like the hair pattern just wouldn't lay down I mean think about it he went so long with having a curly let me see hold on how do you look yeah yeah because even the, when I cut them they had to be at least two months of hair growth on the side that's not including the top the side alone he probably grew, grew he probably grew it out for like two months and when that happens and you have curly hair your hair doesn't just lay down it doesn't it doesn't and here I am trying to cut it like it's gonna lay down it's not gonna lay down Fonz it's not you should have cut it lower than a one and a half. You should have just gone and and I, I don't even know. Ah! So anyways, I'm not gonna get too deep into myself. I just, yeah, I should have gone lower. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I it, it just looked patchy. <laughs> See, this is the bad part. This is the thing I hate about man buns. When somebody rocks a man bun for a very long time, the separation is so, it's so, it's so there. Like the first haircut after somebody rocking a man bun is not gonna look good. Unless you're just scalping that man down or woman, woman bun. It's not gonna look good. You're gonna see that that line. It's gonna look like like a parted line when you have a comb over. It's gonna look like that all the way around because you've sectioned your hair out basically. And then you know if you're rocking a man bun, woman bun, you're gonna rock it up most of the time. That, like there was no way to win on this haircut basically because he didn't want to cut it down all the way. He didn't want to scalp it. He wanted to still rock some curls. And here I am like 
I, I, I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. I should have just took that number one. Okay, boys and girls, now we're setting up for this taper. And this is probably the, the first or second time I've ever done a taper on him. He never gets a taper. He always just gets a lineup. Round in the back, squared on the, well, not squared on the sides because he always has the beard, so I'll take that back. And a, a lineup in the front. I don't even think I showed the lineup portion. Uh, but yeah, so we are, I curve, I curve my tapers a little. I do like the half moon almost on my tapers and you don't have to do it like that. I don't know what set me to do that. Uh, I know I know Nate does it like that. I remember JP, the OG. He used to question it, like, why do y'all do that? Um, I have no explanation. <laughs> I just saw, always saw it and I've, I've done it. I don't always do it like that anymore, but uh, I need to reflect on this a little bit. silence for this outcome tell everybody in, in the room to be quiet everybody hey 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 everybody be quiet because this is this is early stage Fonz trying to figure out how to make videos for himself in the barbershop for himself it's easy when you do it for somebody else but for yourself all right let's go oh my goodness and I did slow motion on this <laughs> But the, the 120 frames per second is hitting right now. Oh my God, look at, look, and the lens ain't even clean. Yo, shout out to all my subscribers and new subscribers and not subscribe, non-subscribers that are watching this, boy. Y'all some real ones, real ones, real ones, real ones to make it all the way to the end on this video. Boy, 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 Fonz. You have gotten better, Fonz. Shout out to Fonz. Jay hits finna drop the f bass.